with the new league year starting today at 4 p.m. Eastern time officially, um, a lot of teams are going to be coming off and moving off of a lot of players. Um, players are going to be getting released. They're going to be getting traded um, all before that deadline because today, and I believe the deadline is actually at 1 p.m. because a lot of salaries become guaranteed uh, when the new league year starts. Um, so the Browns, they kicking it off by releasing Austin Hooper. Um, Austin Hooper is somebody who they signed a couple of years ago, and they had actually made him the highest paid tight end in the league. I remember when they initially signed him, I always just thought he was um, just a bit overrated. When they made the big signing, I was uh, just confused because I always thought like, man, like what they really like, why, for what, what was the reason? Um, and he wasn't a bad tight end at all. I just felt like making him the highest paid tight end. I was like, but Why? Um, and the writing, it was kind of on the wall when they franchise tagged David Njoku, um, which was a surprise to me because I was thinking, all right, David Njoku, he was part of all these trade talks last year. Um, nothing ended up happening, obviously, and he stuck around. Uh, but I was thinking, all right, well, he's getting ready to be a free agent. Yeah, they'll probably just let him walk. But they completely flip-flopped him. Now, uh, the Browns, with them releasing the, uh, Austin Hooper, they are doing it as a post-June 1st release. Uh, so that means that for any dead money that they inquire from releasing him, that is going to be split up on the cap this year and then next year. So half of the dead money goes on the cap this year and half of the dead money will go on the cap next year. But Austin Hooper will be a free agent and he'll get to sign wherever he chooses to. And you know Cleveland, like they got, they kind of got a lot of stuff like this. This release is kind of under is way under the radar for everything that they got going on right now uh, with Baker Mayfield. And, you know, like Baker May, there's no way that Baker Mayfield is going to play for the Cleveland Browns this year. There's no, even if they don't get Deshaun Watson, there is no way that Baker Mayfield is playing for the Browns this year. Zero chance because uh, you like you can't come back from that. There's no you cannot come back from that. They, they went out to fly out to go meet with Deshaun Watson. And you still that you didn't know you you the number one overall pick, but they went out to Houston, first class flight. Well, they probably went on the PJ on a private jet to go meet with Deshaun Watson, and you're their f number one overall pick. Helped them turn around their franchise, got their first playoff win in forever, and you're done. You got to feel like that's a big uh, slap in the face. But it's business. The NFL is a nasty business, very nasty business. So. If you're sensitive, and you know quarterback's the most sensitive person on the team, uh, you know Baker Mayfield's hurting over that one. I mean, I would be hurting too. Like, man, like, I, I was out there playing injured and stuff, and boom, y'all going looking, trying to replace me. So, hey, we'll see if the Browns, because you know Browns, like, every offseason, they are very willing to go all in. Browns go crazy every offseason, especially over these past, like, three, four years. They've been going wild for a long time. So with this whole Deshaun Watson talk, we'll see where it goes, but it's only the beginning. And this Austin Hooper release, this is only the beginning. This is probably going to be a very crazy day uh, in free agency. We thought the last two days were crazy, which they had been, and even a couple days prior to that, but things about to really get turned up now.